You ever see some really fake people? Some like huge hypocrites? Find out today exactly what to do. Thank you so much for joining us. We're continuing our verse by verse study through the book of Matthew. We're in Matthew chapter six, verse two today, which says, therefore, when you do your charitable deeds, do not sound a trumpet before you as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets that you may have glory from men. Assuredly, I say to you, they have their reward. Okay, so a couple things here. Let's start at the beginning. Therefore, when you do a charitable deed, basically, this is an alm or giving of offering. That's what it's talking about here. When you do a charitable deed, do not sound a trumpet before you as the hypocrites do. We actually have very little um, evidence or historical writings that talk about this whole trumpet thing. But what we do have, we do have historical writings specifically in line with the feasts of these trumpets being sounded when people would give. So it wasn't like a normal offering and Jesus might have specifically been referring to that exact thing in this passage here that uh, of, of the feasts and when people would give in the feast and they would sound trumpets and say, wow, look at me, I am so great. They wanted everybody to pat them on the back. Well, thankfully that was only back then. It was a problem they dealt with in the, you know, around Jesus' time in the church and no one today does anything so that people would say thank you or give them a pat on the back or put a placard on their name with their name on it on the back of the pew or the stained glass window. We don't do that stuff anymore, right? Oh, ow, we do. We still desire for people to hear us and see what we've done. We don't literally sound trumpets for the things we do and the things we give to the church or just in general, but we do desire this thanks from men. And it goes on to say um, that they have their reward from men. Assuredly, I say to you, they have their reward. So. Here's what is going on. Back then, people would do these things, specifically giving of offering, and <laughs> trumpets would sound, and it was fancy, and people would, you know, they would turn, they would look, who was that? I guess someone did something really big. And people would look at the person. Well, today, we do similar type things. You know, when the offering plate is being passed, we sometimes we try to make noise and we, we try to make sure everyone sees around us or hears that we're giving something or we donate something and we want thanks from it. Now, some people think, you know, this kind of goes in line with the tax deductible gift. Is there anything wrong with that? And that's, that's a completely different story. I'm not getting into that here. But if we're trying to do it so that the people around us hear and see, that's wrong. The word actually used for hypocrite in the day was talking about an actor or someone who was completely fake. They played a part that was not them. Now, for us today, do we ever want others to look at us in a certain way and think we're fancy and whatnot? Of, of course we do. We all want people to think of us in one way, but we don't always act that way. We need to work. We need to ask God to please clean us of our sinful, icky self and make us into the person we want to be into the person that he wants us to be and then not being fake you know hey i am having a bad day i am these things are going on in my life and you know what 
you're not like this weird, unusual person because we all have problems going on. None of us have the perfect life. None of us have the perfect job situation. None of us have the perfect marriage or are the perfect parent. We all are struggling and learning in this together. But here in this section, if you're doing it for the praise of men, you have your reward with men. It's paid in full. But if you're only doing your good deeds so that God, you're saying, thank you, God, you've already done so much for me. You've given so much of yourself. You gave your son to die in my place. I want to thank you. And the very least I can do is just give back something. Give back a little bit of money. Give back a little bit of time. Give back my praise to you. These are things we want to be offerings to God, not to men, not to people around us. So I want to encourage you, get your mind right, praise God with your stuff and what you're doing and your money. Try not to be focusing on the people around us. I sure love you guys.